with Terry Davis. How you doing, Coach? Good, Terry. How are you? I know it feels good. To get, I'm great, man. I know it feels good to get out the snot. But my thing is, um, after the first quarter, you know, we got word. You know, what's the difference between the first quarter giving up 38 and going into the third quarter only giving 15? What did you do different? I think, you know, credit to our guys. I mean, they just kept, uh, you know, chipping away at our transition defense. Um, I thought the Hornets got away from us. You know, credit to them. You know, one of the league leaders in fast break points. Uh, I thought whether it was a miss or – turnover or even made baskets in the first half. They were getting out and running. They were getting over the top of us. They were putting us in a lot of drive situations. Uh, we weren't able to build our wall and, and keeping them in front. But I thought as the game went on, you know, we talked about at halftime, our urgency to get back, whether, you know, no matter what the result was on our offensive possession, we got back, we made them kind of operate in the half court a little bit more. And then I thought our one-on-one -on -one defense significantly improved. Obviously, Rozier had a heck of a night. You know, they, they shot the ball well. A lot of that was in the first half. Uh, but to come out and, you know, put a stamp down with a 15-point defensive quarter, that was huge for us. That was a momentum swing for us. You know, even having a lead at halftime just by two, we built on it. We learned from the first half, got better, and uh, we found a way to win a ball game in the fourth. Evan Barnes. <laughs> Taylor, obviously you guys, the perimeter game was really working for you guys. Um, I feel like I almost want to sing a lot Kyle just for him in the third quarter, but just what was different about you guys getting those shots to fall maybe – this game and just kind of how that was slowing a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just think it's a, it's a product of just continuing to stay the course and putting in the work. Um, you know, we've been getting these looks the last couple of games. They just haven't fallen at this rate. Obviously, this is, a, I think, a franchise record rate. Um, but if you just keep trusting it, um, when teams are blitzing us, they're switching and, and we're collapsing the defense and we're making the simple play I keep talking about, you know, you rack up 34 assists, this is what we're built on. Um, we're not built on just making shots. We're built on playing the right way. Uh, our spacing was really, really good tonight. Um, I think we, you know, talked in, at length before the game about how we've got to attack their defense. Um, we were able to share the ball, get to our spots. As I said, our spacing was there. So when the pass was made, our guys had the ultimate confidence to knock it down. And we've been having that the last couple of games. Uh, it was great to see that our guys broke through, you know, tonight. Obviously, a lot of guys shot the ball really, really well. I thought Grayson was huge in the first half. You know, K.A. obviously in that third, D.B. to close out the game. Um, that's big for us. So if we can just keep staying the course, you know, the results are the results. But if we, you know, if we make the right play uh, more often than not, you know, that's going to lead to a confident, you know, uh, a possession and confident shot. Drew Hill. Taylor, uh, we talked about yesterday, maybe being on the end of some bad luck with other teams making a lot of shots. Tonight, you're the team that makes a lot of shots. Is Grayson out? How important was Grayson in that first quarter when they came out hot just to keep you guys in it uh, going into the second half? Yeah, I mean, you got to find different ways to uh, stop a run. Um, obviously, they, they went on a huge run even when we were making shots, you know, giving up 38 points in that first quarter. But Grayson was huge for us. Um, obviously he came in when DB got foul trouble. And, and like I just said a moment ago, I thought our pace picked up. Um, you know, we got a couple more stops and even when they scored, we got it out. And, you know, I, I talked about our spacing a moment ago, our spacing, even in transition, you know, we've been emphasizing our pace and, and kicking the ball ahead. thought he found a groove in some transition opportunities and then in, against their aggressive shifts, uh, in that high quadrant, you know, again, we talked about just making the right play. Uh, he was a beneficiary tonight uh, amongst other guys. Uh, that was huge for us, you know, to just kind of stay neck and neck with them. And then to have a good uh, second quarter to build a halftime lead, uh, we just kept chipping away one quarter after another. They had a heck of a first quarter, and we just continued to stay in the course. And it was great to have a full 48 minutes uh, of uh, not, uh, you know, deterring from what we were uh, setting out to do tonight. Sean Coleman. Coach, with the, as impressive as the shooting was, another big thing tonight was 19 offensive rebounds, whether it be through turnovers or the offensive rebounds. This team is consistently finding ways to have a big lead when it comes to overall possessions. That has to be a very encouraging sign this early in the season. Yeah, I mean, those are uh, momentum swingers. Obviously, we've uh, been on the wrong side, you know, recently of some second chance points. Uh, you know, better job for us tonight, you know, defensively, but offensively, you know, um, I think what we got 26 second chance points. JV is a huge part of that. Uh, but our guys find a way, you know, to, to clean up possessions, win those 50-50 balls, whether it's off a miss or on the ground. I think our guys were just kind of in attack mode tonight. You know, that's something that we got to consistently have night and night out, you know, from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint. Uh, but when you play with that urgency, you can create those extra opportunities and you shoot it well, you're going to have a good night. Um, but there's a lot of different ways to win a ball game tonight. That obviously helped with the shooting that we had. Um, but, you know, I, I think our defensive effort was really huge for us, uh, especially after that first half. Kelsey Wright Johnson. 
Coach, obviously after a four game losing streak, it's great to respond with a franchise record shooting night, seven players in double digits, 34 assists. What word would you use to describe tonight's win? And what did you say to the guys after the game? Oh uh, man, I, I wish I had a word, but I would just say together. Um, you know, I, I told the guys, this is, you know, staying the course after, you know, some hard times it happens in, in, in the NBA season. Uh, but we had a great spirit. You know, that's one thing we talked about at length yesterday. Our spirit's got to be there. You know, it's not just about playing hard or X's and O's or making shots and that. Your spirit's got to be there. Uh, whether you're winning or losing, you just got to stay the course. Uh, I think even Josh said after the game, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, it's great that those guys are embodying that. You know, it really tests you, you know, the last week or so when, when you have some, uh, you know, heavy defeats there. Um, and then to come out here, I thought our spirit was good, irregardless of what the result was in the first quarter or the first half. I think our spirit was there, and that just set a tone for us to continue to go out there and grind out a win um, and do it the way that we're capable of. But just staying together uh, and having that spirit is the big uh, takeaway from tonight's game. Parker Fleming. Coach, great win tonight. Uh, you had mentioned the pace and the space, uh, particularly with the pacing. It wasn't only great, but you also controlled it. Uh, how important is that? Uh, as far as just setting the tone for this uh, two-game road trip and then having six games and nine nights? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, uh, I, I, I want to go as far as saying we controlled the pace, uh, you know, early in the game. I, I thought they did. I mean, it was kind of a track meet there, 38-34, 70 70-68 at halftime. It was kind of back and forth. Um, but I thought, you know, our, our defensive activity in that third quarter really set a tone. And then, you know, when you're getting those stops um, – you know, hopefully you're getting out in transition, but I thought for us, you know, in the half court, you know, that's what we're really emphasizing with these guys. Obviously we want to get out and run, kick the ball ahead, but in the half court um, against an aggressive defense or, you know, a defense that's maybe back, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, we got to play with force. We got to play with pace, even in the half court. It's our screens, it's our cuts, it's, it's uh, moving to the spots that we need to on the floor. Uh, I thought we had a better effort there tonight. So we've been stressing a lot, you know, especially yesterday about the pace in the half court seen a lot of, you know, double teams and blitzes, you know, how we got to beat that, combat that. It's with the ball movement and the people movement. The more you're moving it, the more you're going to get open looks. You're in the right spots and you're playing with that pace. You're, you're going to have a little bit more confidence on the off end, uh, offensive end, have a little bit more rhythm. Um, but I, I thought our guys, especially in that third quarter, that's where the pace kind of uh, turned. Adam Tyke. Hey, Coach. In the absence of Brandon Clark, you've been rolling out some lineups with two bigs, specifically with the combination of Gorgie and Xavier. Now that it's been a few games, how happy have you been with their efforts making up for the team's injuries at the power forward slot? Yeah, I mean, very, very proud. I mean, obviously, we're, we're having to, you know, throw a lot of different lineups out there at times. And, you know, X will be the five, X will be the four. Uh, but, you know, with 10 healthy guys right now, you know, we definitely got to rely on our depth. You know, that's what we talk about all season long. Um, you know, next guy up and next lineup up, you can go as far as saying. So, you know, we're having to put some different things together at different times. You know, new starting lineup, which creates new bench lineups. Uh, different combinations, but just credit to our guys that, you know, no matter who's on the floor at any given moment, we know where our expectations are, are from a defensive effort. I thought that second unit there in that second quarter, we started switching a little bit more, you know, with X and Gorgie, they did a heck of a job. Um, and then from an offensive standpoint, just continue to facilitate, you know, a couple great, you know, plays, you know, from our bigs, uh, you know, sharing the ball. Uh, that's huge for us. So no matter what lineup, no matter who's out there, if we can continue to embrace, you know, our standard of play on both sides of the ball, uh, that's what we talk about all the, all, all the time, you know. So uh, it's great, you know, to get rewarded that way and play that way. Uh, we just got to have more of that you know, moving forward. Final question, Meg Megan Triplett. Hey, Coach, can you tell us what you saw from Desmond Bain? I know Monday night you said that, you know, he gave you guys a boost offensively, but defensively he needed to improve. Tonight he had two steals. What have you liked about him in that starting group? Yeah, I mean, just his uh, versatility and, uh, you know, his impact uh, on the game. Um, you know, we, we've talked at length, you know, this season about his playmaking ability on both sides of the ball. Um, obviously tonight, you know, knocking down shots, uh, driving and kicking, you know, I think those were, you know, big opportunities. He, he gets these opportunities. He's taking full advantage of them. But I think defensively tonight, you know, uh, the different matchups he had, uh, obviously Rozier had a good night. You know, uh, he was on a lot of different guys. They were pushing the pace, so he got switched on to different guys. Um, but then I thought with Hayward, you know, he did a pretty solid job, uh, put him in those, you know, situations to guard, you know, really good players in the league. It's only going to help him get better defensively. Uh, his attention to detail has been really good over the course of the season. It gives us a lot of confidence to put him in those situations matchup wise. Uh, but I thought he got a great effort tonight. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, keeping guys in front of him, executing pick and roll coverages. Obviously, you talked about, you know, uh, getting two steals, just finding different ways to impact the game outside just his three-point shot. And, and that showed up tonight in the game.
Thank you, Coach. Great. Thanks, everyone. Take care.